Hello again, guys. Uh, today, this is uh, Christian Toth with Coach Stop Motor Works. And um, I'm actually doing something a little different. Uh, I need to actually work on, I don't know if it's called my daily driver, but I do drive it a lot. Uh, oh, no. ARP is my daily driver, so I guess I drive this once or twice a week now that I have ARP. Um, but I noticed uh, my brake light was coming on uh, on my dashboard, meaning I have low brake fluid. Um, so I think I found where the leak is. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys, but I don't know if you've actually ever taken a look at my uh, 2003 Discovery. So I'll just take a quick, uh, quick look around. So it is uh, as a three-inch RTE lift, um, which is springs, uh, external reservoir shocks, um, heavy-duty uh, front and rear drive shafts. Um, adjustable shock towers, as you can see here, adjustable shock towers. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. Um, and then I have uh, casting correct, caster correcting arms. Um, I have a terra firma heavy duty steering linkage. Looks like my box is actually my steering box is leaking. I put that on the list. Um, yeah, I got my uh, rock sliders, and I so I powder coated these RT rock sliders and my wheels, as well as my rear bumper. Um, and I got these nice Range Rover center caps. Uh, I got my safari ladder and my safety devices roof rack. Um, I wonder if there's some cool things we have in here. Oh yeah, so th I got to take this stuff out, but. So this is my subwoofer, 10 inch subwoofer, I think it's under here. And my, uh, this is like a power tank. There's the word, power tank. Um, and then my amp for my sub, and then I made this. This is, well, let me show you real quick. <laughs> I don't know, I kinda like that, I think it's cool. It might be a little, little Fast and Furious-ish, but um, pretty cool. So it just lights up green, pretty neat. So that's some LEDs back there and shows up pretty well. Uh, then my dog cage. And honestly, uh, and so honestly, the uh, this, you should always have one of these in here. Um, I'm actually not sure if this is undersized or not, but a fire extinguisher, you never need it, but when you do, if you don't have one, it be an issue if you have an engine fire or something. Um, so yeah, I'm super glad that I have it. Uh, and then I have my uh, four Hella 4000s. And this is actually, an, I don't know what bumper this is, but I'm about to send this to get powder coated. Um, I just got to fill in, this looks like a, a notch or something that was here. There is uh, tie hooks here that were welded on. There was no way I'd be able to powder coat around them um, and not have it rust through at some point. Uh, so. Just cut them off and I'll get bolt-on ones. And uh, so this is some kind of old kind of rhino lining-ish or whatever. But this will be, uh, I'm going to take this this week to get powder coated. Um, yeah. So back here you can see there's a little tank. That's actually my uh, windshield washer reservoir. Uh, originally it would have been over here. And it was hanging down. So I had to try to tuck that up. Um, yeah. I think that's about it. But let's get it to uh, the task at hand here. All right, so typical 4.6. Um, yeah, so that's one of my reservoirs right there for my front brake or my front uh, suspension there and my extended ABS lines and obviously extended brake lines that go with it. All right, so this, you see how it's wobbly. And you can see probably down there. I'll get you closer. Can you see the little fluid that's on this side here? So that's my brake fluid. You can kind of see how it's caked up on here too. Um, so uh, there's little seals under there that I need to undo. Let me get you guys set up and we'll drain what's left of the fluid in here. And uh, show you the parts I got. Alright, so... Here is my rebuild kit. 
from Land River. Um, actually, it was pretty cheap. It only cost me $110 from Land River. Um, nope. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I have had probably six or seven Land Rovers, so kind of know how much parts are going to cost. So, I'm not, it doesn't really uh, shock me that much for a kit like this to be $110. I think it's cheap. Maybe some guys think it's expensive, but I think it's pretty cheap. So what you get in this kit is, I think this is actually if I want to take my master or uh, my master cylinder off, this goes in between that and the brake booster, I believe. But I'm not going to do that. Um, these are my grommets. Uh, this is the pin that slides through this channel on the bottom of my uh, new reservoir and locks it in. And then, got my filter. It is in the top there. Okay. Um, Alright, so let's take the old one out. Yep. This right here. So what I'm going to try to do is actually just take this electrical connection off. There we go. Put that guy out of the way. I'm going to take the cap off. Put the cap over here on my clean, clean towel. trash so I'll just chuck that all right and so I actually have for my boats um, it's like a vacuum pump so I pump that just put this in here pull it out pretty empty all right so as you can see this is loose and that's obviously where I'm really where I'm leaking from here um, so you can see that pin right down here let me kind of show you how that, how that whole deal works so this is my brake reservoir um, sits like this and you have this pin right here so this kind of slides in you have little channel holes here. Slide them like that. So a couple sets of them, like right here. And then you push it in and it'll snap in that little, you can see that, that ridge right there. So the idea is to get it out, when it's in that ridge, you need to pry up on it and pull this out. So uh, I could use a screwdriver like a, like a flathead, get in there and, and push down on it to flip this up. And then once it's up, then I can pull back on it maybe with like either another flathead or maybe needle nosers. So let me go grab that. I'll be right back. So yeah, that was pretty easy. So that, let me show that again. So that is, I just went, all right, what I did is I just kind of twist it like this, twist that down, and then just pull it out. Not hard at all. Okay. Closer here. Get you into the action. Alright. Let's pull this guy out. And then. Might have still been some in there. But, you know, chuck that over there. Get that mess out of here. Alright. Don't need this pin anymore, so I can put that away. Alright, so you can see here, these are my two grommets. That's what I have to replace. So if I go on my bag here, I get this funky looking one. Uh, not the ring. I got this funky looking one. Little opening. That's going to be for the uh, inside one, the one closest to the pedal. And then, I got this guy. There you go. Which appears to be the same on both sides but I'll double check when I take the old one out all right so you got to do this pretty carefully not because you're worried about breaking it but just don't want to slosh all the brake fluid around a lot oh yeah you can see that can you see the the brakes and the cracks in there yeah hopefully you can see it but 
So I'm just going to kind of work it away and make sure it's not stuck on anything. I really don't want to spill this brake fluid or even get into my eye. What I should do. Oh, that's pretty good. Alright. Alright. So as you can see, I mean there is no ridges really on it anymore. That's what it looks like, right? Get a little brake fluid on there to make it a little easier to go in. I'm actually going to do a little wipe on the top there. Just to make sure it's a clean surface. Maybe pick a cleaner rag than this one. <laughs> It'll be fine. Alright. Alright, let's pop this sucker in. Gonna work it around in a circle. Alright. Now, it might not look like it's in a circle up there, but you're kind of just pushing down on it so you kind of, I wouldn't say feel a click, but you can kind of feel it get seated on the ridges that are in there. Now, it's kind of hard to see that it's flat, but you're going to have to trust me it is. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. Kind of just work him around, break him free of any kind of corrosion. As you can see, it's a little corroded. Break him free a little bit. And then I'm going to come in and get after it with the uh, needle noser. Pry it out a little bit. Just going to poke in with it and pull up gently. And you see how I'm pulling towards here? That's because you have this little, in this hole here, there's a tube stuck in. So you kind of have to go like this pull it out hopefully this is helping you guys there we go alrighty look how gross that is alright so take some of that brake fluid get a little bit of moist get a little uh, little oil on there make it a little easier to get on alright so as you can see you can see that white, ho that white hose down there that's where this goes I'm going to go down and then plop it in. So this just goes in here like that. And that's what's poking out. But uh, I'll save that for another day because I don't think that's where it's leaking. It looks like it's mainly leaking from up here. So I'll do this first and I can always later unbolt these, this and that one lower one and take it off there. Now I'm just going to try to get this on there. Just push it down there. Looks like this little outside ring is still going to be protruding a bit above the surface of the uh, master cylinder. So, say we're done. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some fluid in here. Just a little bit. Um, I don't want to lose that air. I don't want to... Um, I don't want to get air into the system. Alright, uh, and I don't know if... Alright, so I don't know if it's been discussed uh, earlier. I don't think I mentioned it earlier. But, uh, Land Rover Discoveries, I know at least, uh, they take DOT4 brake fluid. Uh, and always be sure you're using the correct brake fluid on any of your cars. Um, I think if you go higher, that's okay. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Just look at the cap. On here, it says DOT4. DOT4. So I'm just going to put a little bit. I don't know why I'm worried about spilling. There's brake fluid everywhere. Right, we'll just go for it. Actually worked out better than I thought it would. <laughs> Alright. So now this is kind of the tricky part. So here, as you can see, it passes through. That's where these lips under here need uh, to be above. So you kind of got to shove it down to get it on there. Um, so this goes like, see this overflow? Or, uh, I don't know what this is for. 
whatever. If you know, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Leave it in the comments section below. All right, so what we're gonna do is put. There we go. I think I got it. There we go. It's on. That wasn't bad. No, no, no. I'm just gotta put this guy in back. There we go. Yay! Yay! Fixed. All right. That wasn't bad at all. Let's fill her up. Alright, so we got that in there. And my little brake light float switch. Alright. There we go. Alright, now my brake cable. Or my uh, light harness. Alright. So, uh, what you couldn't, maybe if you couldn't see, what I did is I filled it up to your like basically this casting line and uh there's min and there's max so you kind of just do it in the middle so let's uh turn her on and make sure my brake light's not on right, so once i take my there we go so that was my emergency brake that i put on and off but that's the light that would stay on if sorry all right so that's the light that would stay on if in fact uh you were low on brake fluid uh, you know what i even forgot i was just stepping over it filter all right so i'm gonna go throw this back in here then we're done so i appreciate you guys uh coming along take a look at this if this was helpful um drop me a like i'd really appreciate it uh or a comment or something a suggestion that uh that i could have done better or something that maybe i missed uh maybe i skipped over but at any rate uh, i hope you enjoyed today um let me know if you want to see more videos of my discovery uh like i said the bumper's getting powder coated and um yeah kind of done all this for a couple years now just never videotaped any of it but if you guys are interested let me know um, appreciate you coming by and taking a look. This is Christian Toth with Coach Set Motorworks, and we will see you later. Bye.